Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Elix. So we're going to pick back up where we left off last episode, and we're going to work on converting some people to Kalon. Uh, <laughs> after our, our massive massacre last episode, I think it's time we, uh, we get some new recruits. So let's take a look. I went ahead and marked it on the map, and we have three people that we need to go visit. First up is Connor. Um, over by the Tavar Mountains. I believe that's the guy, the outlaw, at that gas station, I think. It's kind of funny that the, uh, the clerics bolster their forces this way. Um, what in the world? I'm supposed to have a gun on my back here. All right. Put that weapon... Yeah, all right. What in the world? I wonder why it's lagging like that all of a sudden. Um, anyways. The clerics need help. Help? With what? Supplies? You think with their machines they wouldn't need help from anyone. So, come on. What's their problem? It's obvious you're one of them, so speak up. I'm here to find suitable recruits to join them. Ignodon needs men as well as machines, or we need help from you. You've been selected by our scouts. We need help from you. You've been selected by our scouts. You expect me to offer help to Ignodon? You think I'll help out just like that? I'm going to have to think before I make a decision like that. What's there to think about? But then as my jackal is dead, I suppose there's nothing to keep me here. All right, I'm in. Wait here and you'll be collected. They'll take you to the horde and explain everything to you there. Good, then I'll just wait. See you in Ignodon, comrade. Huh. That's kind of cool, actually. Hey, take it easy. I actually like him. Um, and it's weird because we didn't have to use suggestion on him at all. Alright, next up we have Galar. In the Valley of the Damned. And actually while we're there, we might stop by the Alp camp. But if it lags again, I'm going to maybe reload. Okay, it seems to be fine now. Alright, so... He's off... in this direction. Sounds good. And this is actually the opposite direction from the Albs, so... Eh, we may run by there, we may not. We'll see. But I think, I wonder if after this quest, if we get promoted, I imagine not. I feel like that would be like a mega quick promotion. Of course, it's going to be probably based on level as well as just doing the quest. So, oh man, there's like a mess right here. This place is bad news. Oh my gosh, this place is really bad news. So am I just going to have to like go for it, I guess? I try to just gun it through this swamp. Fox, join me. Good. Okay. It's <laughs> like a random mess of poison. Nope, oh, I'm about to die. No, I didn't. Oh my god. Oh, man. Those mobs aren't messing around, I'll tell you what. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, actually, I'm going to go up to the top of this mountain. I'll go up here, and then I can probably jump off and bypass a lot of that, like, swamp stuff. Maybe? And I'm hoping that we level up before too long. I do think I'm probably going to end up taking those ten extra attribute points. Hey, fuel. Um... I think so. I mean, especially since we can make Elix drinks with, you know, skill points. We actually have a couple of them. So, am I going to be able to bypass much of this at all if I go up here? Hmm. Okay, this has brought me out to the beach, but if I come around and then I head straight west, 
Or straight east, I mean. Um, we should come across that guy. But we've never met this guy. So, there's a chance he may have some quests or something for us to do as well. Oh, man. Weakened rot lords. keep dying <laughs> oh my gosh this is so difficult like honestly I'm kind of thinking let's actually go to the great lift because I noticed I came up to a big like massive wall and it seemed like he was up there so I think if we go here And then we're supposed to head straight south is where he's at. I'm just going to go along the wall of the uh, the valley, I guess. No, we'll head down there. What is that big place? Actually, let's go check that out. Because that, that looks kind of promising. Oh, man. Oh, man. This game is so pretty, I feel like. Like, all around just looks really good. Alright, let's see if I can get a few of these monsters together. I'm not for sure if I've got both of the mobs. There's 131 XP. Now the other one's down there. Oh man, I was hoping I had both of them right there. Oh god. Slime Dracon. I will assist you. Right. Those things are creeping looking. Especially being in that water. There we go. I like this necklace that we're using right now. I actually like it quite a bit. Because the experience, I feel like, is pretty noticeable. I don't think, uh, I, I want to say the Slime Dracon was like 140 or something. And especially if we start getting some really big pulls, like, that's going to be some nice XP, I feel like. Well, I can, uh... Oh, man. You can actually, like, platform up this. Oh, man, I wonder what's up at the top of this. The only thing is, it's like a lot of, like, jetpack action. That we'll be waiting for. Oh, and then it connects right here onto this conveyor belt. Small blue gemstone. I wonder if there's anything on top. Oh, oh. And somehow that did not kill me. <laughs> no clue. How I pulled that one off, but it didn't kill me. I'll take it. Because I was for sure I was going to die right there. I need to save. Because I haven't, I haven't saved like this whole time. <laughs> I, totally, I really don't want to die. Asshole! Oh. There we go. Where'd his body go? There he is. 
Oh, there's another one right over there. Oh man, they're all over the place. And I hate, in some ways I hate the humanoids. They're a little bit harder, I feel like, to pull in groups. Because, uh, th like, they've all got, like, ranged weapons. And it's not like those, uh, like, blasts that the animals shoot out. Because, of course, they have ranged weapons, too, generally. But, uh, or ranged attacks, but... I must remember these ruins. I they're a lot... To return to them someday. They're a lot faster. A little bit harder to deal with, I guess. Alright, we got some kind of a node up here. Oops. Sorry, Falk. Iron ore vein. I haven't really been using iron for much. But I think it's mainly because we haven't been doing a whole lot of crafting. Crafting's like something you kind of have to like build up a lot of resources before you can even mess with it. Because it requires like all kinds of like mob drops and like money and all this stuff that we don't have. Hey, isopod. You're mine. That 2 XP is important. Oops. What do we got here? Gondor. Gondor's memo number two. Huh. This place is like crawling with bandits, but I like bandits because they're good they're good XP. Gondor's memo. Hello? Hello, me. This is... This is yourself talking. Your past self. Take my advice. Think before the conveyor belt. Because they saw me. The plan failed. They saw me before I even got there. Now, I need to return to our camp. My camp. At the waterfall. We, I, will have a better view of things from up there. Hmm. Huh. Alright. So they've got a camp over there near the waterfall? I didn't say nothing. Like as far as a camp goes anyways. Whoa, okay. That's not a that's not a tough mob. Like, wait a second. Hit it, Falk. I can't lock onto it. Something about like the water and stuff like that. I can't I can't target guys in it. It's been really quiet since we got inside. Which kind of makes me nervous to be honest. Alright, sleeping bags. A harpoon? What in the world? Ship commenced. Beck is back from sick leave, so we've got a full crew today. Should mean we get back on schedule. Instructions have come in to stop the... to stop the shift immediately. I can't... I can't believe the news. How could they not have seen the thing already? How could they not have told us? Oh, God, I... I have to go home. What are they talking about? Like, I'm still waiting to, like, find, like, some really big, like, crazy monsters or something. Because you know they've got to be out here. Ring of Toughness. Didn't we find one of those before? It's just like... Conveyor belt. I wonder if that's the conveyor belt that that recording was talking about. I swear it's always, it's always like that. Alright. I'm going to take a look at that Ring of Toughness. Just out of curiosity... Yeah, 20 max health, 10 max stamina. I think we've had one of those before, but I think I sold it when I was trying to make a bunch of money. Which, probably by the end of the episode, we're going to be trying to make a bunch of money again because we're going to want to get our chest piece. <coughs> Ouch. Right. So up. We go, oh, what is this? Gore Reaper Blade. Oh my gosh. I swear there's like artifact weapons all over the place. Sells for 743. Um, damage melee weapons plus 10%. Uh, 
but it's got 57 damage. Damage type bleeding. Requires 61 strength, 38 constitution, upgraded outlaw gore reaper blade, a reliable and advanced outlaw weapon. Alright, so what's at the top of this conveyor? Anything? Oh. Which connects up to here. I wonder if this leads to that guy's camp he was talking about. Ooh, what is this? It's like a mine. Oh, man. You're in trouble now. Well... Nope. Nope, you guys are in trouble now. Oh, man. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Ow! Oh. I hate whenever you fall off something and it does that. There we go. 150 XP for that one. I can't remember what those... Those one guys were dropping a hundred, weren't they? I thought so. Like, I don't know exactly how much bonus XP we're getting per kill. The area here is rather worrisome. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Man! What have we found? Oh, I do need... Let me switch over my necklace real quick. Okay, it's like that and then that. Okay. Too easy. Yeah. I broke like two things. Thick blood. Resistance to bleeding plus 40. Um, and then fine dining knives. Which is, that's just a chem, so I don't, I'm not going to do much with that, but. I'm a drug-free cleric. I'm a good one. Okay, I'm going to save before we go up in this place. Because this place looks... A tad bit worrisome, to be perfectly honest. Like, this looks like it could be like a perfect uh, ambush. Uh, Ring of Defense recipe. Reaver Leader's Notes, number one. Okay, what is that Reaver Leader's Notes? A few short notes hastily written down. Making progress into the mine meant using explosives. After we blew a plath a path through the blocked tunnel, we had to repair some of the support beams and secure the roof against further collapse. This progress wasn't without loss. Bix and Manny messed up when they were laying charges. I told the others to get the berserkers to take the risks in future. We're going to make this work, BB. Sounds like they have some uh, captive berserkers. Alright. Uh oh, somebody's gonna kill us. Gotta wait for my jetpack to recharge here. Oh my gosh. Totally did not mean to do that. There we go. There we go. I like the XP in this area. 150 a kill. That's awesome. That is, in fact, awesome. Uh oh. 150 XP for two shots. Like a two shot. That's crazy. Right, where did his body go? I have no clue what happened to him. Oh well. I guess. <laughs> I have no clue. Reaver Leader's Notes number two. Alright. Nerissa disappeared today. I sent Ash to find her, but he came back without seeing any sign of where she's gone. The others don't seem to care about her disappearance. Unfortunately, she was the only one who knew anything about foraging. We won't be able to survive on the dirt and dust from the walls, BB. Alright. Nobody up here? Hmm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and sleep until morning. I always just sleep until morning. I never pay attention to actually what time it presently is. So, morning just sounds good. I don't think there's anything that matters, like, I'm assuming there's nothing that matters on how long, how many days it takes us to go through stuff. Notes number three. With rations running low, there have been thefts from the stores. I sent out a hunting party in the hope of getting mate, but the results were disappointing. Not only did two of those assholes get injured, but they were spotted by a group of clerics. If those Calan worshippers figure out where we've set up camp, then we could say goodbye to the Elix that's in this mine. Ooh. Well, it just so happens that there's a cleric digging through your mine and killing all your peoples. It's amazing these people have survived against the clerics for so long. Wow, three locked chests. Something tells me I need to get lock picking up, because we keep... We keep coming across uh, locked chests like that. This place is actually pretty dark. It looks like there's not anything else in here. Alright. I think it's very risky for us to be here. I think so, Falk. I think you're right, buddy. Still wish I knew where that body went. Oh, there's an elevator. Or there's a ladder. Which one do we want to go through? Honestly, I'm probably going to go up the ladder first. I'm not going to walk it, though. Gosh. Man. There we go. Good job, Falk. Thank you, sir. Because that's the worst thing, is this thing is such, like, so bad at close range. Like, it'll get you if you're not careful. I rely on it so much. Because it's just, it's just so powerful. Like, everything else, like, we definitely shouldn't be here. You know, this is, like, way high for our level. But... With that, we can go anywhere we want. Reflector Serrated Axe, number one, or rank one. Um, sells for 405, an upgrade outlaw reflector axe, both decorative and damaging. All right, Reaver Notes, number five. I never found number four, though. At least as of yet. And this place just keeps going. Looks like this is actually kind of like a dead end, though. There is something. Miner's Journal. Well, I missed uh, Leader's Note somewhere. Number four. Maybe it's up this elevator. I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I can't save when I'm on the elevator. Oh, hopefully there's not a bunch of guys waiting for us. What in the world? Armored Reaver. Oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> oh man. When was the last time I saved? I'm, I'm getting bad about that. I'm getting too confident. Okay, this is right over here then. Right after we got the, uh, the journal, or the notes, the number five notes. Oh, there's Reaver Leader's Notes 4. I just missed it when we first came through here. Okay, so let's read these real quick. Uh, number 4. Instead of hunting animals, I ordered Ash to steal from the exiles who've set up camp nearby. 
He has scouted their defenses and we're going to attack tonight. I hope the effort is worth it and that their storage rooms are full. I wonder if that's the guy that went down. Um, let's see. Killing a man is easier than slaying a raptor. Our storerooms are now full with supplies from the exiles we raided. Soon we can tap into the elix seams here and then we'll have it to purchase anything we want. Until then we will have to go visit the surviving exiles more often. Okay, that, uh... Oh, that was Gondor. Gondor's memoir two. But he said they have a camp near a waterfall. So I'm not for sure. But he said he came down a conveyor belt. So I wonder if it was the one that I went down first. I don't know for sure. Okay, what about this miner's journal? Because we didn't read that last time. Reports from when the Berserkers were still operating the mine. Day 25, this mine is quickly becoming a death trap. Three more people were buried today. Two were lost. We were able to get the third out from under the rubble. His injuries were so bad, I finished him off with a rock when no one was looking. Day 40, I left Bajar know that I'm not prepared to waste more of my people in the mine. He almost exploded in rage. Without Elix, there is no mana. He even wanted to send me to his son, Ragnar. But I can do without a bossy young asshole who only wants to tell me what to do. If the accidents don't stop, then I will st I will seal the shafts myself. So that was... I knew the name Bajar sounded familiar. That's Ragnar's dad. Day 72, enough. My men are reporting a strange light in the passages. One of them even says he saw eyes in the darkness. How are we supposed to knock Elix loose from the rocks if the miners are terrified? I'm closing the main entrance tomorrow and telling Bajar that we have to give up on the mine. My men have to keep their mouth shut about what they've seen. This treasure will have to stay here. This cursed treasure was never meant to be ours. Oh, man. The mystery of these mines deepens. Now we've got eyes in the darkness and strange lights and all kinds of fun things. Okay, so we're going to try going up this elevator again. That armored guy is rough because, like, he doesn't stagger. Like, as well as other people do. <laughs> and so he just gets up and just kills me in like two shots. Look out. Kill him. Oh my gosh. Is he dead? Is he dead? There we go. 200 XP off of him. Man. Talking about serious, though. Like, I'm hoping... I've got two guys aggroed onto me right now. Not now. Not while I'm being attacked. Oh, man. What in the world is that thing? Okay, I'm going to go grab this guy. We need all the mobs together that we can get. What is that thing? Slug beast. That was the first thing we ever tried out this uh, monstrosity on. Yeah, get them all together. Get them all together. Man, I want to get up my intelligence up so badly. Man, either this slug base has a lot more HP or these things are just meant to be tough. Let's try out... Uh... And that does like nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, let me switch back over to this then. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Ah. I think that means... Oh, man. That's like way back here. There we go. 
I did make those monsters up here mad again. But yeah, I'm going to stick with the, uh, this time around, I'm just going to stick with the AoE thing. It does way more damage. Yeah, all you guys get together. And that little biter thing, like, gives, like, no XP in comparison to the other stuff that we're fighting. Like, 11 XP? Like, what is that? Yeah, see, this thing does at least reasonable damage to the slug base. That other thing that we were using was doing, like, nothing. Either he was just, like, super immune to it. Or something. I don't even know. And he still has a ton of health, though. We are killing him faster, though, than the last time we fought a slug base. But, man, these guys are stout. 263 XP. Fault, get up. That's supposed to be laying down the job. I agree. Alright, so was that all of the mine? I believe it was. but Oh, and we've come out over here now. Near the River Delta. Uh-huh. Wait, what's this? It looks like another mine entrance. Just to something. I don't know. Okay, so the guy that we're looking for is... Like, right down here, pretty much, isn't he? And how am I doing on... Um, we've actually gotten a bit of XP since we started. I would just quit dying. Oh yeah, there was that chest we passed up. But I've come too far. <laughs> As if it the thing is those little like zero chests don't ever tend to really be much of anything. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about it. All this just to recruit somebody to join the clerics. Like that's how serious our dedication is. Oh there's the other one. I know there was Oh, there's, like, people coming to help. Oh, man, there's more of them. Ah! I need to quit all this dying today. We're going through, like, some pretty tough stuff, I feel like. I'm like, talking about some, some difficulties here. Yes, over there. Get him, Falk. Oh, there's, we got a quest for this. Okay. Not sure what the quest is for. I'm betting the guy that we're supposed to be recruiting probably wants us to kill weakened rot boars. Like maybe around the camp or something? Or one of the NPCs in this area probably does? If not him, I don't know. So I think I'm going to go check out the camp first and then we'll continue killing rot boars. Because I know there's people in here. I'm going to save first. Because I'm doing terrible at keeping up with saves today. Exile. Eagle. Eagle. Hi. Hey. Oh, look. Another exile. What got you sent out here? No. Wait. Let me guess. You went and broke the laws, didn't you? I'm not an exile. I haven't been sent here. Then... Who are you? Look, I'm just traveling through. Well, traveling makes more sense than staying. I don't know why anyone would want to stay here. Come fast the day that ends this exile. You are exiled? Sentenced to work until my loyalty is proven. Or I die, whichever comes first. They exiled my friend out here on the same day as me. Now, his loyalty is food for the worms. How do you prove your loyalty, or what happened to your friend? What happened to your friend? He was sent to the western border of the forest. I haven't seen him since, nor have any of those who've gone to find him. He must be dead. What exactly is an exile? We are the forgotten, 
the rejected and the outcast. We are the victims of the Berserkers' laws. Laws we fought to protect, only to find those very laws spitting us out into this wilderness. That is who we are. The Exiled. <laughs> Why are you here? Do you mean, what crime did I commit? Or, what job do I do here? What is your job here? I was ordered to take care of the wood to the west, cutting timber for Goliath, growing food, keeping an eye out for the Albs. But I can't cut timber while those beasts are roaming around down there. And I won't get back to Goliath unless I do. <laughs> I'll take care of the creatures. You will? Huh. Thank you. I can't believe I'll finally get to go home. I'm already like halfway done with it, in fact. Welcome. Um... But it's interesting because, like, if you join the Berserkers and you mess up, they exile you to this hellhole. You join the Clerics and you mess up and we kill you. <laughs> and then you join the Outlaws. I don't know about the Outlaws. It sounds like the Outlaws are like the free people. and But the thing is, like, they don't have enough laws, it sounds like. So, <laughs> there's no balance. How did you get here alive? You're not an exile and you don't look like you've come to save me. You're a cleric, aren't you? Maybe it's that clan of yours. Does clan give you protection against the spirits? He must give you protection against outlaws if you've got this far. But what brings you out here? Into the Valley of the Damned? Uh, why shouldn't I have got here alive? What's so dangerous here? Or why so worried about who I am? Have you got something to hide? Why shouldn't I have got here alive? What's so dangerous here? Didn't you come down here on that lift? Didn't you see all the bodies? All those dead berserkers? The Valley of the Damned. Home of exiles. The condemned. The damned. The lost. You pick which of those you are. Who are you? We are all exiles here. We all broke the law in Goliath. And we are the lucky ones. We have a chance here to clear our names. Harvest wood here for a few moons. Survive life in the forest. And we are allowed to return. Hmm. Why does Goliath get its timber from here? Or what do you mean by lucky? Why does Goliath get its timber from here? To give us something to do. I see now that what I did was wrong. And I will do my best to return to my family. And if you have anyone to return to, make sure you keep your head down. That you don't go out at night and that you ignore all the strange noises. That is how you survive here. What strange noises? The noises are... They're the spirits of the forest. I know. I didn't believe either, but now I've heard them. They take people. Animals. They've been taking our supplies too. Well, it's better they take our supplies than us. No, it's the guys up in the mine that I killed. People are disappearing here. All the time. That's why you shouldn't go outside at night. The risk of getting taken by them is simply too great. Have you seen these spirits? No. No one has. Anyone who sees them is taken, probably killed. You're free to look for them if you're bored of life. Where could I look for these spirits? You don't look. You listen. You listen for this screaming. Wait there if you want to by our supplies. They come for them at night. Good luck. It was nice knowing you. Sounds in the dark. I've come here to invite you to Ignodon, to become a cleric. The Berserkers sent you out here to die. The clerics offer you salvation. Are you serious? Become a cleric? Me? No, no, no. Technology can only lead to the end of our world. We have to put this planet back to how it was, not dig more of it up to build machines. No, you've picked the wrong guy. You're not taking me back to Ignodon. This isn't a debate. You'll join the clerics. You'll join the clerics or I'll bury you here where you'll be paid well. This isn't a debate. You will join the clerics. But... The clerics are your family. That. You will join them and start your life again. You... are right. I am a cleric. Once there, you'll begin your training. Just 
Don't give them any trouble. Understand? Yeah. Sure. I understand. Those that was remarkable. Me. <laughs> All right. Falk likes it. What about the rest of us, huh? All right. Oh, we got chest here. All this is forbidden, though. Strong mana potion. Okay, I'll tell you what. I am going to... I'm going to do the two quests in this camp. In fact. Um, let's see. Paranoid. Okay, the other two creatures that we've got... These rock boars... There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Ha-ha! And we got 400 XP. Yeah, see, I think they're normally like 100 XP and they're given 131. I think. I mean, if that's the case, these kill experience boosts are nice. They're honestly better than the quest ones. But the quest one's good for like a big experience quest. Just most of them, it's just like, eh. You don't have to worry about those mutants. They're dead? Oh, I thought they'd be the end of me. It's been years of creatures and albs, and now, maybe now I can go home. That's right. You're not going to, like, give me anything for that? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Why do they keep their supplies, like, outside of the little camp? Like, they just sit them there, like, take them. It's got to be the guys from the mines, that BB and everything. Has to be. Okay, so they said they come at night. And we really don't mess around at night very often. So we'll just sleep until midnight. Uh-oh. Somebody's around here. It's just a raver is all it is. And... Oh, I didn't die. No, there's nothing here. Was that it? Okay, I'm gonna reload because I'm thinking that maybe I was supposed to catch him in the act and not, like, kill him. Possibly. I don't know, I mean, the guy's just standing there. Okay, I have no clue. I have no clue. She keeps saying there's nothing here. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep waiting near it until like maybe the next thing comes along. I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep until morning and maybe they'll be like, oh, our resources weren't stolen last night or something. I don't know. Here is rather worrisome. Like I honestly have no clue. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> honestly, I have no clue whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna leave that one alone for right now and... In the service of Kalan, Divine Mission. Okay, and Ryder is way down there. Which, actually, aren't we supposed to go see Ryder for that one guy, anyways? Wasn't that who he wanted us to go meet with to get his, uh, his money or whatever? Whatever it was, I can't remember, but... Oh, there's somebody named Erwin. It's a cleric that's dead. Whoops. Didn't even see that one right there. That's probably what killed Erwin is a mine. I'm assuming. Because it looks like he's there's a big hole in the ground where he's at, so. Just uh just a guess there. How close slash far are we? Oh, we're actually not too far from Ryder. Been pretty much a straight shot. Thus far. Oh, looks like he's in battle with some stuff, and I'm not, I'm probably not going to be able to use my... Uh. No, Ryder, seriously? 
I was trying to protect you. Do I just need to, like, maybe kill him? If not, I'm gonna have to reload. I don't mean to make him mad. I was just trying to help. The death of Ryder will change the story. Not, not what I meant to do, then. Okay, let's try this once more. Look out. Now maybe like... You guys need to deal with it. There we go. Alright. Well, at least Ryder's still alive. Oh, oops. I just now noticed that was forbidden. What a remarkable structure. An ingenious way of creating an ecosystem that is Chain independent cipher. of the outside world. Keep your eyes open. There's always more damn jackals. I think they know I want every last one of the things dead. <laughs> you want them all dead, or why are there so many jackals in this area? You want them all dead? Why wouldn't I? They ate my whole damn family. Now I'm going to kill all of theirs. I spend every spare minute tracking them down. When I'm not trying to get enough meat to live, to sell, and that takes most of my time. So, you work for the Duke? People don't work for the Duke, that's the whole point of being outlaws. Not that anyone there is really free. You know where to find the teeth on a jackal? In the fort. <laughs> you think you know where the knife is, but the next minute you feel it sticking in your back. You're best out here with the jackals, rather than in there with the real animals. Do you want help hunting these jackals? Nah. This is something I need to do myself. For my family. And I need to earn a living. I sold the pick-me-up stems. Apparently. Whoops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can we trade? Sure. Tell me what you need. And as long as I've not already promised it to Scrappy, it's yours. All right. Let's what do you see? What he's what got? Uh, looks like just a bunch of junk. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get. I'm definitely have to get the, gonna have to get those pick me up stems back. I totally didn't realize that I sold those. Whoops. All right. The clerics want you to join them. You'd have training, food, a place to live. You should join. No, no, I'm not the man for that. Clerics, outlaws, whatever. They're not for me. No. I'm staying here. I'm finishing this job by finishing these jackals. I made that promise to my family. Okay, we can say your job here is done. It's time to leave. You will join the clerics. Think about it. They pay well. We can bribe him or join or I'll kill you. I love the I'll kill you. Your job here is done. It is time to leave. You will join the clerics. But my promise... You have made good on your promise. It is time to change. It is time to join a new family. A new family? Yes. Yes, I want a new family. Then you will join the clerics. You will find a new family in Kalan. You will be collected in a few days. A group will take you to the hort. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I'll be ready. Good. You won't regret it. That was well done. <laughs> Alright, so we completed that quest. There's another jackal right over there, guy. Go get him. Okay, so I'm going to warp back to the hort. I suppose. Why does it still show Connor on here? I have no clue. I'm going to go back to Balder and see if I can turn this in. Because we've already gotten Connor. Alright, and I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and put on... Our provider amulet that practitioner and let's go turn this in hopefully turn this in about the initiates you want me to find 
Galler has agreed to join us. Excellent. I'll be interested to see how this berserker settles into our community. Ryder is ready to start his initiation. He might find that tough as an outlaw, but all components must be forged. He will soon fit the role he is to serve. Good work. The initiate Connor should arrive here soon. I've been told that he's already here, but they're not letting him into the hort. He's been stopped at the gate. Have you any explanation for that? No. Then you'd better go down to the gate and find out what's going on. Hmm. Huh. What in the world? I know he was like really just like, okay, let's join. It was the only one I didn't have to use any suggestion on. So I almost wonder if like he didn't have an ulterior motive or something for wanting like being so open to joining the clerics. I guess we're about to find out. Why won't you let Connor into the horde? Because Connor matches the description of a guy who ambushed one of my merchants. I can't prove it. That's why he's still walking around breathing. But I can't let him in. And if it is him, do we really want someone like that joining the clerics? So you're refusing Balder's order, or so the only reason you won't let him in is because of his this ambush? So you're refusing Balder's order? I'm not refusing anything. The order says we must seek out and welcome new initiates. But you're only an initiate once you're inside the hort. He's not in the hort, so he's not an initiate. So I don't have to welcome him. End of story. Get him out of my sight, dead or alive. What if I vouch for him or take this? This should cover the stolen goods to her shards. What if I vouch for him? Vouch whatever you like. He's not coming in until the merchant gets paid for the goods that were stolen. That's pay Take this. That should cover the stolen goods. Well, you are determined to carry out your orders. Who am I to stand in the way of such dutiful action? Connor is free to enter the hort. Send him in. Excellent. I thought you said I was sent for. Now I get here, and that idiot at the gate won't let me in. Do they need me or not? Make your mind up. I spoke with Xander. It was all a misunderstanding. You can go in. Are you sure? It looked like he wanted to kill me. It's all sorted out now. Go in. Alright. So now we'll head back to Balder. 200 shards, but at the end of the day, 200 shards is nothing. And honestly, I kind of like Connor. I want him to join the clerics. Plus, he didn't take any suggestions. So I see him being more of a meaningful recruit. I just hope there's nothing like... I hope he's not here for, like, something. <laughs> like something personal. About the initiates you want me to find. Connor has arrived for initiation. Good. Very good. Let us hope he proves his potential. Our drone intelligence suggested that he was one to watch. Well, that's the last of the initiates we'd identified. You have done the Horde a great service. Our ranks must be filled. And you have helped to bring new initiates to our cause. You have the thanks of the Hort. Don't forget to report to Rhino. Leveled up. Woot. And he gave us 250 shards, so... He gave us a little bit more than what it costs to do that, so... Alright, so let's go speak with Reinhold real quick. About my duties as a legate. I located the initiates. Yes. And he brought all of them here safely. A very satisfactory con It speaks well of you that you wish to act in Kalan's name. We will promote you to the rank of Paladin. For a small donation. Oh, but we have to be level 25 to do that. So we're still a ways off from level 25. But becoming a Paladin sounds awesome. Sounds awesome indeed. Um, currently, we are nearly halfway through 18. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and bump these points into Constitution. So we're up to 38. Go ahead and apply. And then let's oh, go... It was what, Anna that had the... Uh... No, it's not. Is it Anna? Is that her name? It's over here. Eva. Eva. Teach me something. Yeah. Oh, oops. Teach me something. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I want to take the attribute points. Ten of those. Yeah, now we need 55 cunning for the next ten attribute points. Alright. Well. And we still have one learning point left. Okay, so we're going to bump our constitution up to 40, which I think is the requirement to wear that chest piece. If I recall. Now, we're still going to have to pay 10,000... 10,000 Alexit for it, though. That's the only thing. Thing is crazy expensive. But 40 constitution, I mean, that's pretty decent. And then I'm probably going to bump intelligence after that. Get us up to the next psi level, and then we're going to probably bump strength after that. Yeah, so I need 10,000 credits. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. Some of the stuff like that... I mean, honestly, these swords and stuff, I have no intention of using them. So we're up over 10,000 now. And then we can get our new armor. The legged armor. And we can go ahead and sell our old armor. That acolyte armor. There we go. And let's equip this new stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and switch back to our survivalist uh, necklace. Oh, man. That new armor is pretty cool. Like, we got, like, that collar around us. I am kind of excited to see the paladin armor. I think... I like this new helmet, but I think I like the old helmet more. More so. Than this one. I don't know. I kind of like both of them, just in different ways. But, anyways, I know it's about wrapping up points, so I am going to end out this episode here. But, as always, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And next episode, we're going to continue um, questing. We may actually do the first main quest. I don't know. Or we may just continue on the side quests. Um, but we're going to have to be working our way up to level 25 um, is our next goal. So we're not too far from 19, but 25 is still a ways off, I imagine, before we can get up, uh, uh, promoted to a paladin. So... Um, but anyways, I hope to see you guys next time, and until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys then.